Hi, you guys. I know I look extremely tired because I just woke up. And I don't have y'all up because the Georgia State Patrol is in front of me. And we're currently at a red light. So, yeah. Um, But today I'm finna go and look at... Sorry if I'm shaking so much. Today I'm finna go and look at this apartment. My appointment's at 12.30. It's currently 12.13. I have... Um, it's gonna take me a minute to get there because it's a lot of traffic on the east side. It's a lot of traffic on the east side, and I'm surprised. Well, it's lunch hour, so what did I think? <laughs> but yeah, so if I can't record, oh, I brought my brother with me today. If I can't record in the apartment, I'll do you know, I'll record it for y'all, but if I can, I'll just tell y'all about it. So, yeah, bye. Hey, you guys, I'm back home from the apartment tour that I went in, and <clears throat> it was, somebody did live, somebody did live in the duplex that I went and looked at, but I actually like the duplex. It's a two-bedroom, one-bathroom. Um, The kitchen and the living room were kind of on the smaller side, but that's not like a problem for me or whatnot simply because you know i have a one-year-old and it's just me and my one-year-old we don't need nothing like too big too small living room is a perfect size the rooms are perfect size and they said that the duplex won't be ready till mid-september so i have a good three and a half months because if i really want that apartment or not but before i actually put an application in for that apartment i do want to go and look at another apartment well two apartments friday and try to see because this apartment is a thousand dollars and then i seen one for 950 and i can you know i feel like i can afford both but having that extra fifty dollars can go towards something that i really need it for so and then i found another one that's like really fresh and renovated like brand new it said it was just built 2002 um that's for 1100 though so it's like an extra hundred on that one it's like do i really want to pay that mm, you know because i'm also trying to like you know save money and do this and do that and have everything put together but i am going to take y'all on my journey i'm going to record this because it's like i feel like i came a long way and i'm just trying to get everything together and settle you know i'm just trying to be in my own spot comfortably and be who I am freely and truly and just live my life, you know, and like do the stuff that I really want to do for me and my daughter, decorate how I want to de decorate. And that's the thing, like, I don't even know what kind of color scheme I want for anything. So, yeah, we're going to see. But, yeah, so hopefully, because I text this realtor um Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. Um about the other two um apartments that I want to go look at and they never text me back. My message didn't even deliver. And then they finally text me back after I left the other apartment like as soon as I got in a car and started driving. I had got a message from the um other realtor and they were saying basically like um yeah please let us know which apartment that you wanted so i looked on a website and i did not know they had the honeysuckle in the kentucky honeysuckle lane in the kentucky circle um apartment on there i thought it was just one of them so i just went ahead and contacted her about both apartments because i do want to look at both of them and not just one of them so i can actually decide which apartment did I really want and my move-in date would be ideal for like later on and not like right away because I do not want to just go ahead and move in like right now and I I'm trying to be patient wait my time wait my turn you know do all of that without trying to rush it because right now it's like um I feel like I have to wait and you know be patient and that's what I'm trying to do you know God has a plan for everybody. 
So if something doesn't happen or if something doesn't work out the way you want it to, then you have to think that it's God's plan and he's, you know, closing one door for you because they not. Y'all, somehow my phone just stopped recording, but he's closing one door for you to open up another. So that's all I keep thinking when something doesn't happen or goes the way that I want it to go. So I'm just like, God has bigger and better plans for me. So I'm not even going to stress it not even so yeah we're gonna see how this is gonna go because i really just need to find something that i can afford without having to stress about other stuff the end of the month you know like oh my god i can pay my rent but how i'm gonna get food you know like i don't want to stress about like i don't want to be going through that because i make too much i make too much money to get food stamps you know so that's that's real sad because I feel like I need to make at least thirty, forty dollars just to live. You know, rent is going up. I watched rent from the time I was pregnant till now skyrocket. Like apartments that I see that was like nine hundred, eight hundred for like a two bedroom are now thirteen hundred. I'm like. 1200 i'm like y'all doing it too much y'all know these apartments are not worth that shit because they don't even be updated the apartment i just visit it was stainless steel dishwasher they had a glass top oven range they had a white refrigerator though was in tears almost and it has a white refrigerator i was like oh, oh not a white refrigerator girl please put your shoes on let's go find you a home honey. that then i was confused i was confused on that because why everything is brand new, but it's you got a white refrigerator in there. Ah, oh, the ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto. And now I probably have to buy a microwave because, yeah, some of these places don't come with microwaves. Some of these places don't come with a washer and dryer. When it's like it's very rare to find a place now with the washer and dryer already in it like very rare like it's very rare that'll be it for now i will come back to you guys when i go visit the other apartments hopefully it'll be friday so i can make my decision on what i really want to do instead of just waiting till like a whole nother week you know because i don't have time like that I want to get in and get out, you know, do what I got to do. Okay, um, this is an update about the apartment because I think the last time I was talking to y'all, I told y'all about how I had toured an apartment and I think I got y'all another update about me uh, putting an application for another apartment. But if I didn't update y'all about that, I'm going to now. I thought I did. I, I can't remember. But um, I had toured the apartment or whatnot and I had put in an application for that apartment and I did two virtual tours, if you would say, because the other two apartments, they were occupied. So he just sent me videos of the apartment and they're both currently off market. The one that was for 950 that I wanted, that I used to stay over there, um, in that neighborhood when I was younger, is off market. And then the other one that I wanted, that's 1100, is still on market. But I don't want to, you know, go past 1000. And then the apartment that I really wanted, there was a thousand. Um, I actually got my lease yesterday and signed my lease for it. Like I was saying, they sent my lease over yesterday. I signed it and sent it back. I'm waiting for them to for them to send my lease back, signed from the broker. I guess that's what it's called, and my landlord. So I have to wait for both of them to sign. So I can get my lease back and then once they send me my lease back I'll send um a holding fee I guess that's what it's called a holding fee goes towards my rent also so yeah I'm really excited because like y'all I feel like this is something that I always wanted and I'm making it come to reality like I started this job in September 2021 and Within a few months, I got my car. I got my car March 2022. And I won't, I mean, I have, you know, I got an apartment, but I won't be able to move into it till September. 
but it's like within a year i got a brand new car i'm moving out and i don't took trips at all i just feel like everything is coming together and it's been like a long time coming for that you know like a long long time um so i don't know y'all i'm just so excited i'm so excited i can't wait to update y'all you know i'm gonna do like um an apartment series i'm gonna do a moving blog series all of that like y'all are going to see all of it so i'm just grateful for it y'all hear journey back there say hey journey she said hi but yes y'all so september 2022 we're moving into our apartment don't but i'll keep y'all updated on the apartment process hey y'all i'm just coming um, um I'm coming to y'all with an update about the apartment so they did send my lease back i went on their website and they took the duplex down off the website so i got the apartment and we will be moving in september um i will be taking y'all on my journey i'm going to like i said I'm, I'm going to do an apartment series i'm going to do um shout me for my apartment um when it get near grocery haul maybe even for a first time apartment and sorry i'm looking rough i'm at work right now i'm in the parking lot come on lunch break which i need to be putting my socks and shoes back on so i'm gonna do that now so i can go to the gate before everybody decides to pull up at the same time but i'm at work right now i just wanted to update y'all because i just checked them um, their website to make sure you know like the apartment wasn't on there and whatnot so since that is completed i'm just so excited it may not seem like it right now but i am i'm i'm really full i just stuff my face and woo. <clears throat> thank y'all for watching and coming along with me for my apartment journey